Hi guys, so this is another A-frame tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to add textures. We are going to take, as you see on the screen, the last example um, of the animated box. And to make it easy for us, we're just going to uh, delete the color animation here. Um, there we go. And uh, we are also going to delete the color of the box. That way we can add a texture easier. Uh, so to add a texture, it's quite simple. You come back to the documentation on A-Frame and you can see um, how to add an image texture. Uh, you can find it online. Um, I have gone to this sample assets for A-Frame and you have all kinds of textures here. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically add um, a source to our entity. So we're going to copy and paste the source attribute inside um, our box. And in this case, you see the texture that we have on the screen is the example texture from A-Frame. We can also go, so let's go back to my sample assets. And for example, if we want to add a uh, terrain, um, this kind of grass, uh, we can just open an inch a new, a new tab, that's how I've been doing it, and take this URL here, um, go back to my example and just paste the URL inside the source, and hopefully, yay, you have uh, the box with the grass now, texture. Now that we have that, we are going to try to make, let's create earth. So we're going to first turn that box into a sphere. There you go and yeah, so sphere and uh, since it's a sphere we're going to get rid of the depth and the height and the width and we are going to add radius um, let's make it a radius of two for the moment and we are going to get rid of that position animation so it can just stay still uh, there you go. Whoa, that is moving way too fast. So we are going to try and modify the duration by 10,000. Uh, it's a little bit better there. So you see we still have that grass texture. So we're going to go back into our sample assets. Um, and going back here to the texture images, we have a space one. And in the space one, we have the Earth atmosphere. There you go. It's a beautiful one. So we're going to take it and open the image in new tab. As before, we're going to just copy the URL and then we're going to go back to our example and paste the URL. There you go. And it has it, yay. So what we basically want to do to polish our earth is two things. First of all, in the animation itself, we want to come back to the dock and we're going to look for um, easing, which is basically what we're going to use to make it continuous. So it, will it, will, it won't stop rotating. Um, it will continue with the animation before it just stopped and then started all over again. And with the, that ease linear, it won't stop at all. And the second thing we're going to do is within the sphere, um, we are going to take a segment height, like you see here, attribute instead, there's just, a... and what that does it, that is that it plays with the edges of our sphere. So in that case four, you can see the difference. If you add the value of six, then it's still not round enough. We're going to try an 18. Um, it's a little bit rounder, but the edges are still spiky, so we can go to a 36 to make it smoother, or the value that you have in mind, let's say 53. Um, and yeah, there you can see the edges. Yeah, so that's better. And there you go. You have our, we have our earth um, in the screen, and we've created it with textures. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.